Now, in the past hour, I've been able to ditch that umbrella. And as Joe was talking about, we have kind of a rain snow mix. It looks like snow coming down, but I can't actually capture in the flakes. Nothing is sticking here. Uh, most of those plows that were behind me, they're now gone and out on the road. You see a couple more over there that look like they're getting ready to head out. Now, that's very different, though, than the city of Kansas City, which actually put its uh, salt trucks out there 12 hours ago. The city of Kansas City started loading up 300 salt trucks early this morning. City manager Brian Platt called it, quote, an aggressive new plan. Uh, in advance of the storm, almost a full 12 hours before the storm uh, was supposed to get to town here uh, to make sure that we've got every single road in this city uh, covered with salt first. Pre-treating is very critical to uh, make sure we can get a good push on that snow and remove it off the streets quickly. But at MoDOT today, things have been mostly quiet saying there's no reason to put down pre-treatment that would likely just be washed away. With the early part of the storm being rain, um, we're ready to respond more towards a snow event, towards the, the later hours in the evening. MoDOT says careful planning has it in a good spot with months left of winter weather. You know, our salt supplies are in good shape. Um, our equipment's uh, ready to go and we've been preparing for the storm, so we should be able to respond. With snow falling overnight, it hopes they'll be able to use either salt or plows to have roads cleared for morning rush hour depending on how much snow falls and when. The big thing is to, to plan ahead and um, check road conditions before you leave. Certainly good advice there. Now, MoDOT does say that it is dealing with severe staff shortages, Lauren, and actually to, for, because of that, they're starting to move some of these salt truck and plow drivers around the state to the areas that are being hardest hit by the snowstorms this winter.